John, good morning, I should say. Welcome in this. Good morning. Yeah, welcome in this first official interview in the in the Transplant Live studio. Yeah. You must be a proud ESOT president. I'm incredibly proud. I mean, this is uh, when when I see everybody gathering, when I see the fantastic program that there uh, there is laid out for people over the next few days. I, f I feel a real privilege actually being the president of uh, of ESOT. Yeah, and in the in the general assembly on Tuesday, I understood you're coming to the end of your terms. Yeah. What do you hope the legacy of this Congress, ESOT 2015 in Brussels, will be? I I I, I think. When professionals come to, to a conference like this, we look to be inspired. We look to learn uh, um, nuggets of information that we can take back and improve outcomes for our patients. Our, our patients are already getting pretty good outcomes in transplantation, and, and so we have to work that much harder to, to improve things even further. When a few years ago, we were in an in international meeting, an international conference, and we were all sitting around saying, this feels so much the same, so similar to previous conferences, and we didn't feel as if we were getting a lot out of it. We just had a keynote speaker who had really been fairly flat in delivery, and we felt things have to be different. It has to change. And, and from that, we had, first of all, the Glasgow meeting and then the Vienna meeting, which was a significant step up. And I, s I strongly believe that this meeting, the Brussels meeting, will be a further step up. Uh, How, in how is it going to differ in terms of uh, what we've seen in Vienna? Well, well it's, it's, it's using even more the, the digital techniques, I, mean, I, I guess the, the, the app, and therefore leading people to what they want to see, I think is even better than it was before. And I think there are a, a couple of innovations uh, that, that I would particularly point to. I'd talk about the e-poster sessions. I, I, I think um, anybody who has ever given a poster anywhere will know that sometimes you are put into the most dusty corner near the toilets, yeah. somewhere where nobody ever really wants to go, and you stand there by your poster with your work that you are incredibly proud of, and, and yet nobody, nobody comes. It. Yeah. Uh, and so the e-poster session is, is an attempt to do something different, is an attempt to say, okay, reach out through digital techniques to the person who might have some interest similar to yours, see if you can make uh, an appointment to see each other, and then come and meet and talk. That seems to be a much better way of doing it. We want to try new things. Exactly. It's, it, everyone tries the poster session differently. This is a new way, and I think it might be successful. Well. That, perhaps maybe some more controversy sections, and, and again, being very modern in the way we deliver the message, so the stage setups are not the old-fashioned dais that everybody hides behind. It's getting out there and talking to people and encouraging the keynote speakers to do that. Well, well we're very curious. We're going to see some of that here at uh, Transplant Live. You mentioned some of the controversies in the, in the transplant field. Um, what are some of the main challenges and, and trends facing professionals nowadays? I think um, a lot of the trends and, 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 and controversies and challenges are facing um, trying to, as I was mentioning earlier, trying to improve outcomes uh, at a time when actually resources are being uh, are being uh, reduced, if anything. And, and therefore, people are trying to look at better ways of delivering care. Personalized care is a, is a very big topic at the moment. Trying to look at developing drugs that are even better in the future. And of course, that's quite difficult because the pharmaceutical companies are finding the costs of developing a drug are enormous. And so they are looking at different ways of how we can uh, interact in a positive way rather than in an old-fashioned way. And, and, and I think um, uh, across uh, all of these, of course, and, and a very important point to continue saying is that without organ donation, we have nothing. We don't have any organ transplantation, yeah. whether that be living donor or deceased donor. And so there is a huge section of this, uh, of this meeting on the, on the issues of donation, because we can never forget that. If we do forget that, transplant will, will, will not uh, prosper. Unless, unless of course, and that is some of the sessions we are covering on Monday afternoon, in the near future we might just be able to produce new organs. What is your view on that? I, and and I, I'm incredibly excited about that. There are two or three sessions, aren't there? And I think you're covering some of these. The, the, there's global warming sessions, there's the, the, uh, the of session on, of men and machine, which looks incredibly exciting. 
and and I and I think those are the future. You know, it's it's the classic thing of a, a scientific breakthrough. We, we we talk about things being still ten years away, and and I think some of these things are further away, but they're incredibly exciting, and and I'm certainly going to make sure I'm going to go to those lectures. Perfect. Well, as a final question, uh, beyond this Congress, where where all this knowledge and all these insights are bundled into a three-day or four-day craziness, how else is, is ESOT helping professionals in, in facing these challenges? I think one of the major things that ESOT continues to do is in the field of education. I think our, educa our suite of education courses is very strong indeed. And, and I think that um, uh, certainly in some of the European countries, revalidation for even for senior doctors is coming in much more frequently. And I think, therefore, we will be very important as a transplant organization to provide that revalidation, to provide ongoing education, uh, whether it be at a congress or whether it be in, in uh, a, a meeting, a smaller meeting, or whether it be through media like this, that we try to make sure that people are kept up to date during their busy professional lives. Perfect. Well, let's do that for the next few days. We'll be seeing you at least two times more in the studio, both uh, as an interviewer uh, of Liam Plant and Gavin Warwick on uh, Monday afternoon. So I'm really looking forward to that and uh, enjoy Congress. Thank you very much. I've en enjoyed the, the, the morning so far and let's go for the, uh, the Congress. Yeah.